Here's how to recharge your car air conditioning using one of these kits that you get from the auto parts store. First recommendation I would have is make sure you get one with a good gauge on it and with a good long hose on it so that you have room to operate. Um, in most cases, you're gonna be plugging this into the air conditioning valve and it's gonna be pretty easy to get to, but um, this is a Ford Focus. On my car, they've hidden the air conditioning uh, nozzle here underneath my fender. So I've actually had to remove the wheel and take some bolts out to, to be able to reach in there. So having a longer hose is, is definitely key unless I want to take the whole inner fender out and that would be kind of a pain. So you can see this hose has a gauge on it. You want to set the little arrow to be pointing to whatever the, the temperature is when you're doing the job. So the pressure is dependent on how hot it is outside. So it might be 75 degrees, then you would put it there. And then this thing also, it works as a gauge. So what you do first is before you even put the can on it, you can plug it in and use it as a gauge and just see where the air conditioning system is reading. You want it to be in the green zone, preferably between those, those two um, long red lines where the arrow is. That's where you want your pressure to be. And the pressure has to be tested with the car running and the air conditioning turned on. That creates pressure in the system that you can measure. So first I'm gonna plug this in and then I'm gonna turn on the car and check just where we are and then plug the bottle into it and pump it in until the needle reaches the green zone. All right, there's a look at the compressor nozzle. So you can see that there's a plastic cap on it. Uh, it's a good idea to look at this before you buy your kit. Cars made before 1994 or 1995 have a different type of connector and they won't work. Uh, the type of coolant they use is illegal, so you, you won't be able to recharge them. You'll have to take them to a professional. But um, anything after that will work. So you unscrew that plastic cap here. And then uh, just connect up the hose to it. The hose just pops right on. You can see you pull it to release it. So you just pop it on and then when you're ready to take it off, you just squeeze it and pop it loose. All right, you, you can see that it's a little bit low with the engine running. So now I screw the can on and then when I pull this trigger, it's gonna increase the pressure in the system. So I just run the car and keep pulling the trigger until it gets into the green. I turned off the car so you could hear me, but I'm gonna turn the car back on and then just pump it up until I'm in the green zone. You want to shake the bottle while you're doing it. Once you've got it to the right pressure, you just reach up in there, grab onto this little collar here, pull it back, and then pop it off. All right, now fire up the car and check it out. Woo, that's so damn frosty. Folks be like, damn, that's a cold ass honky.